This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good day, Philippines. You are watching Global News Network, your information source to business trends, opportunities, and money-wise tips. Coming to you live on Channel 8 via Destiny Cable and Channel 1 via GSAT. Good, mor good morning. I am your host, Rowena Suarez, and you can call me Ro for short. Our segment, Investment Academy, talks about the different ways to increase investment cap capacity, financial literacy, and awareness. Investment Academy will show Filipinos not only how to make money, but also how to create wealth. Let's start our show with our Just Ask Row portion. From Twitter, um, where can I find the book Unique? Um, okay, I guess you watched the show last week. The Unique, well, uh, you can find the book in the National Bookstore. That's by Jason Law. Mm -hmm. And okay, another from Facebook. I'm interested in the seminar of Mr. Jason Law. When is the next one? Okay, the ne I, you have to go to his website or his Facebook page and you can find it, Jason Law, www.jasonlaw.com. And also a message from, uh, a text message, is there hope for people who experience bankruptcy? Of course there is. There's always hope for, pe for as long as you are alive, there will always be hope. You pray and, uh, and do the best that you can and the rest will come to you. For questions, you may get in touch with us through 0917-862-7576. That's 0917-86-ASKROW and justaskrow at gmail.com. And you can also send me a tweet at just underscore askrow. You can also view our show on YouTube Investment Academy by Rowena Suarez. She is a woman whose life has been transformed by the power of speech. A woman of many firsts, the first female Fil Philippine district governor of Toastmasters International, the first Filipina image consultant in the Philippines, and the first Filipina who is certified by the Association of Image Consultants International. She is also internationally rec recognized as a professional speaker and trainer and is the founder and president of the first Speakers and Trainers Bureau in the Philippines, the Southeast Asia Speakers and Trainers Bureau Incorporated. Philippines, let us welcome Ms. Dinah Loomis. Good morning, Dinah. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. It's such a delight to be with you, Ro, because I look at you as a role model. Oh, for you. Yeah, for Filipinos who are aspiring to do better, mm -hmm. to make something of their lives. I think, well, thank you for that. And I'm now, I'm now very careful of the way I talk because I know you are a Toastmaster, a Grand Toastmaster, and a Governor in that. So uh, what made you start it to be in this field, Diana? Yes. Uh, what happened was I was doing my master's studies then at the Dallas, De La Salle Business School. And then I saw a friend of mine who invited me. He was the first district governor of Philippine Toastmasters, Distinguished Toastmaster Veda Biala. And he said, you know what? you would make a fine Toastmaster. I said, what's that? And he said, well, why don't you attend our, our meeting? And I did. And thereafter, I discovered that, oh my gosh, I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Now let me explain why I'm at home. Because I danced the ballet for 10 years, mm -hmm. from 7 up to 17. So I'm always on stage. And when you're a Toastmaster, as a public speaker, you're always up front. You're mm -hmm. talking to big or small groups, but you're talking to groups of people. And I did not go through what most Toastmasters normally go through, that they're, they get the jitters, that they get nervous. No, because this is home for me. Mm -hmm. And I thrived. And I really prospered in Toastmasters. Before we move on, what is Toastmasters? Maybe the, uh, the, our viewers doesn't yes. really know what Toastmasters is. Indeed, Toastmasters is a public speaking organization. But it's not just about speaking. It's also about leadership skills because we have two tracks. 
The first track is the communication skills track. The second track is the leadership track, meaning every member of any Toastmasters club can also become officers of the club. Mm -hmm. And when you become an officer, you have what we call a lab, <laughs> a laboratory, an experiment where oh, how do I become a successful leader? And there are seven different leadership positions in any club. Therefore, as a result, you can be either president, educational vice president, mm -hmm. public relations, uh, membership vice president, mm -hmm. uh, sergeant at arms, are, there, it's all there. Mm -hmm. And you know that it's a voluntary club. Mm -hmm. And those ma master will teach you how to speak. Yes, yes, yes okay. because you go through icebreaker speech, and then how to be a persuasive speaker, mm -hmm. how to put in vocal variety, and then body language. You will notice, I can't help it, it's natural for me. I'm like an Italian. Mm -hmm. You know, the Italian, if you will tie up his arms, it's like he lost his tongue. He cannot talk anymore because it just comes naturally. You, you notice that? Yes, yes. It just comes naturally to me. It's like I'm almost half communicating only if I cannot use, use my hands. body language. Yes, uh -huh. yes. So that's all part of the training. Mm -hmm. And long before, and I never really, really stopped from the beginning, 1979 up to now. So you can just imagine it's been like 34 years yes, yes. all throughout. I've just continued. But after my stint as district governor, because I won accolades for the country. Mm -hmm. For the first time, we won the Presidential Distinguished District Governors Award, and it's mm -hmm. never been done before. Mm -hmm. So as a result, I realized, oh my gosh, I'm also a leader. I mean, I'm, just, I'm not just a communicator, I'm also an effective leader. Mm -hmm. Because here, Toastmasters from all over the Philippines, they supported me to go and get the gold. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh my So it's gosh. extemporaneous speaking. Like, they give you a topic? That's, that's one of those. They, they give you a topic uh -huh. and then you just talk about it. Well, it's actually extemporaneous. You have a little more time. Here we call it, in Toastmasters, we call it impromptu. Because impromptu means on the spot. Mm -hmm. You're called up front and you're there. And then you're given a topic you didn't know you were going to, to be given that topic. So you just think very quickly on your feet and then let let your mind really, let the wheels go fast mm -hmm. and then just express yourself. But we do have outlines to follow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you will see, mm -hmm. how did he get to discuss that so vividly? Mm -hmm. Because of practice. So mm -hmm. that's one, the, the impromptu speaking. And then we have what we call prepared speech. Mm -hmm. Meaning you had one week or two weeks to prepare. Yeah. Uh, you choose your topic, but not just any topic. It has to conform to the speech manual, mm -hmm. meaning, am I going to show, demonstrate body language? Am I going to show and demonstrate vocal variety? Mm -hmm. Am I going to sell a product? Mm -hmm. Stuff and like that. So um, being in Toastmasters or being good in mm -hmm. the way you speak, in the way you communicate, mm -hmm. will give you, again, like our, t our, our title for that is the winning edge. Oh my gosh. Because yes. why Yes. Can you explain that further? Yes. yes. How it can make you a winner to be a good speaker. Right. You see, uh, there is a saying that goes, and let me quote, a brilliant mind can never be appreciated until your brilliance is expressed through the spoken word. How will people know that you, you know something, you have a, a good idea? How will they know if you cannot express mm -hmm. it? So here... In a group of people, for example, oh, several people, maybe some of them are even geniuses. Who knows that? Mm -hmm. And yet, the people who are noticed, the people who get recognized, they may not necessarily be geniuses or brilliant people. Aha, uh -huh, but they can express fun. themselves well. So there you go. Who succeed the most? They're the people who are express themselves well. Okay. It's being this, can that be learned or is it innate in a person? For some, they are just what we call naturals, mm -hmm. like inherited tendencies, as you may call it. Some people just find it so easy to express themselves. However, there is a, 
<laughs> a caveat there. You could also fall into traps. The trap being, if you're too glib and you speak without thinking, you speak without any logic, mm. you speak without any outlines in mind, Oh my gosh, later on people get mad at you. Later on you get blamed for mm -hmm. saying something. It's like digging your own grave. Yes, <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. You can see even in the Twitter and, yeah. you know, the online. Oh my gosh, you just say something. You know, you were just being yourself. You, but you didn't think before you spoke. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. my advice to our viewers is this. Look for a local Toastmasters club near you because you will have the benefits of the training. Only through practice can you become a better communicator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like, like let's say with me, sometimes I think so fast but it, it doesn't match with my, with my speaking. Yes, So yes. that's why sometimes I think I get a slur or I, right. I get tongue-tied. Right, How, right. Does that, does Toastmaster uh -huh. help you with that? Yes, it will be corrected. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. that's why it's my great honor and pleasure to invite you to my Toastmasters okay. Club. The next meeting is March 11. Okay. Make sure that you... March 11. That's uh, a Tuesday. Okay. Oh, okay. Make sure you find time. I'm going to text you all the details. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it is different. It's incredible. It can change you almost overnight. Mm -hmm. um, it's just an expression, of course. But meaning from a shy, a timid person, somebody who's not so confident. Oh, my gosh. I mean, when you discover, oh, my God, I'm able to express myself. I'm able to persuade people. Well, can you imagine your exponential power? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like mm -hmm. uh, there's no limit anymore. Yeah. So <laughs> are there um, are there already people that you've I'm mm -hmm. sure you've been in the business for 34 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. um, and and I think is this be, has become your advocacy as well? Very yeah. much. Very and much. there are a lot of people also that you've helped change lives because oh. of this. Yes. Can you give us some examples? Yes. Uh, there was one. Let me cite one particular example. There was one guest of our club, because you start as a guest, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, when he was called to speak during the impromptu speaking session, he just stared at us and could not say anything. He was so embarrassed and he almost used up the whole minute to think. Finally, we had to break the silence and we had to tell him, that's all right, we will call on you next time. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, by continuously attending our meetings and observing the other speakers, oh, he became a champion speaker. I mean, you know, from somebody who just stared at us almost one whole minute, could not say anything, and now he's a champion speaker. And there was also somebody else who was very much like our late President Marcos, who would punctuate all his sentences with, uh, mm, er, and you know how distracting that is. Oh my gosh, by just continuously practicing his speeches in the club, after a while, no more us, and we actually said, hallelujah, <laughs> mm -hmm. because he practically got rid of all his aspirative pauses. There are also, um, there are also public public speakers who just speak in one tone oh. right how do you do th how do you mm -hmm. how do you help them with that mm -hmm. yes well that's what we call speakers who put his audience to death instantly <laughs> by, by boring them yeah. by when you have that's one of the ways that you bore your audience to death is when you speak in a monotone for example if you say how are you it's like, did he really mean it? Did he really want to know how I am? Because, how are you? But see, when you put the wave in there, the intonation, how are you? See, it's like, it's the real thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, just that There's little, feelings. Yeah, yeah, just that little difference. It's like your heart and your spirit went with it. Yeah. But when you just say, oh, is that so? Yeah. Oh, is that so? Or is that so? See, it, 
So, These are just little things, and yet they make a lot of It, it doesn't matter if your voice is really low. Like, my voice is actually very low. Oh, it doesn't low. matter. No. It's just really the intonation. Oh, by the way, may I say that okay. actually your voice is very good. Oh, thank now, you. Now, I am quoting I'm by... I'm always mistaken for a boy. But, dear, <laughs> let me just... This is good news for you. According to one of my mentors also, Dorothy Sarnoff, who is one of the foremost authorities in America in public speaking. Mm -hmm. Well, she died a few years ago, but see, she used to be an opera singer. But this is the way she described the best voice. Warm, pleasant, and well modulated. Mm -hmm. I knew have that. Oh, thank you. Oh, that my would goodness. Be a, that I was make a, my day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you may not realize it, but you have one of the best voices I have heard. Oh, thank you. Thank you very oh. much for that. Yes. yes. I, will, I will probably get more lessons from you. <laughs> thank you, but be sure to attend our next meeting. Yes, yes, I'll be there. <laughs> so your journey in your career, um, I saw that you're also an image consultant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and does this go hand in hand with you being a, a sp uh, public speaker? Yes. As a matter of fact, being an image consultant means you have to master three elements, appearance, behavior, and communication. And by the way, it's in my book, Beyond Looking Good. Okay, <laughs> right. Yes, so, yeah, so I divided the book into appearance, behavior, and communication articles. It goes together. You cannot be an image consultant if you don't observe the different tips and guidelines and the how-tos and whatnots mm -hmm. for appearance, behavior, and communication. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it goes together. That's why in 1996, I was the first Filipina who went to America and became a certified image consultant. So what yes. went first, being a public speaker or the image? Being first it was being a public speaker uh -huh. and then it was much later when I discovered the Association of Image Consultants International because of my friend who, an American, Candice, uh, Candice McGuire, because she was also a member of the AICI and she introduced me to the association, so I went to America, got myself certified as well. Mm -hmm. So when you marry both the Toastmasters training and the image consultancy training, <laughs> there's no more limit to what there's you no, can do. Oh, no. and then that's yeah. it, you're going to be just a winner. Oh my gosh, in, in every possible way. In everything yes, that you do. Yes. But I must give credit to my mentor, Dr. Dennis Waitley, who is the world's foremost authority on human behavior. He has a doctorate in psychology, and he's the one who wrote a foreword for my book. Mm -hmm. Because see, th this is what Dr. Waitley said, and let me quote. Attitude and taking note of your own self-esteem must come first before technical skills. Because you can have all the technical skills, all the knowledge in the world. If your attitude about yourself, your self-esteem is not right, then you may not necessarily succeed. So it comes first, and then all the skills can follow. But first, believe in yourself. And then you're capable of doing anything by adding skills as you go along. Mm -hmm. Like, I must mention this, with DM Compass, they have the MBA program, mm -hmm. and this is how I met Ro. <laughs> see? <laughs> see, we became classmates. See, both Ro and I uh, hunger for continuing education, and this is one of the secrets of being a winner. Look, you may have the desire to succeed, but if you don't have the tools to succeed, how will you know what to do? You have to have the tools. So give yourself the opportunity of going through additional programs. Sometimes I go through webinars mm -hmm. because in America, uh, I have all this, the Training Academy of America, for example, they send me their webinar mm -hmm. offerings. Mm -hmm. And so I said, rather than go fly there, mm -hmm. I might as well enroll. So you think that joining and educating yourself 
will uplift you as a person and will be better for your self-esteem. Oh, indeed, indeed, yes. yes. Uh -huh. yes. That's why um, it's really coming from within and then everything will follow. That's yes, what yes. You see, what happens is this. You begin, when you have a deep belief in yourself and in your convictions, you begin to manifest a particular aura. And you know, people can tell from a distance. Even you're just sitting there, you're not doing anything, you're just, you're not saying anything, you're just there. There is a vibration, there's a certain vibration coming from all of us. Studies have shown that each person actually give off an energy that is equivalent to power that can light a whole city okay. for a week. Each person okay. has that kind of oh, energy. Wow. That's, that's really very good. This, this yes. conversation is really getting very yes. interesting. But we, ha we have to pause for a break and then we'll continue. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes.